In this video, we are modifying the Beginner Code Creator Kit by replacing the main character model with the Cactus Enemy model. Let's start by dragging the Cactus Enemy prefab from our project folder into our scene view. Since we want to select and modify specific parts of the prefab, let's right-click the prefab game object in the hierarchy and select Unpack Prefab. Let's also unpack our main character prefab since we'll be modifying it as well. In the hierarchy of the character we just unpacked, let's delete the Mike Moose object and drag the Cactus Nails object onto the character game object to make it a child of our main character. Let's select the new model and reset its position and rotation by going into the Transform component in the inspector, clicking on the Component Settings icon on the top right corner, and selecting Reset. This will position it in the same place our Mike Moose object was relative to the parent. Let's also change the tag of the Cactus Nails object to the Player tag. In order for this character modification to work properly, we need to change the Animation Controller Dispatcher script variables by dragging the Character Parent object into the slots for the Variable Attack Frame Receiver and Footstep Frame Receiver. This will allow the script to trigger the animations of our Cactus model instead of our Moose model. If we now test our game, we can see that our character now is the Cactus that we can control. The one thing you'll notice is that the Rake weapon failed to get attached to the character. So, let's fix that. If we navigate through the Child objects, we can find all of the body part references for the model's animation rig or skeleton. These are objects or bones which will move in the scene when the character is animated. By attaching an object to them, we can cause that object to follow the character's animation as it plays. Let's find the right arm end reference and create an empty game object as a child of it and call it Weapon Holder. Then, if we go back to the character script, we can drag the Weapon Holder Transform to the Weapon Locator parameter in the Character Control script. And that's it! Now we can play the RPG Creator Kit with an aggressive cactus. Hopefully, you've had a great time exploring this Creator Kit. Don't forget, there are three other Creator Kits covering different game types and topics for you to learn from as well. Or, if you're having fun, feel free to continue to modify and expand on this one. If you'd like to learn more, don't forget to check out some of the other projects on the Unity Learn site.